Hi, I'm Date Mike. Nice to meet me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you have no idea who I am, hi. My name is Debra. So for today's Luke, we're gonna be doing this right here, obviously. And it's just kind of like a really simple date night, Valentine's Day kind of look. As you can see, we've got a lot of pink and a lot of red. So anyways, if you wanna see how to get this look, just keep watching. Why can't I just be normal? Can you just say it like a normal person? Okay, so. I know my eyebrows are a little uneven, like this one's a little darker than this one and it's fine. Just move past it, okay? We're already past it. We'll fix it later. Okay, we're just gonna prep the eyes with, we're gonna just prep it with some concealer. And we're going in with the Makeup Revolution Concealer in C6. <sighs> Every time I sit down to film one of these things, I suddenly have to burp like a million times. And I'm like, hello, lady, get it together. So anyways, we're just gonna slap some of this concealer on our M224 Morphe brush. I don't know why I said that backwards, but I did. So we're just gonna go with it. My lips are looking crusty. My eyebrows itch. Do you guys' eyebrows itch when you already have product on them and you can't like itch them? It's like the eyebrows know. Oh, wow, my whole face itches every time I film. <sighs> Okay, enough random chit chat. Let's just get into boring your life away with a makeup tutorial. So we're just patting this concealer down onto the lid. I don't know why I always like talk through this stuff like it's really intense. Like, okay, Deborah, we get it. You're putting concealer on your lid. It's really freaking hard. Although I will say you need a good base for your shadows or otherwise you know, no good foundation, no good. Okay, this is offensive, Deborah. you need to stop. I don't know what that was supposed to be an accent of, but I'm sorry if I offended you. Good grief, lady. Okay, I think that's good. Did I even finish my sentence earlier about... <laughs> No, I didn't because I was being offensive. Um, yeah, you just want a good foundation for your shadows, that's all. That was the more of that weird accent story. Okay. And now we are going to go in with this lovely Naked 3 palette. <laughs> <laughs> As the brush falls out, that's real cute. Let's try that again. <laughs> I just noticed I was like looking creepily under like <sighs> <laughs> We'll just leave it. It's fine. Okay. Anyways, I think it's like the perfect Valentine's Day palette, don't you? I was obsessed with getting it for so long because I just like really stand the idea of a pink eyeshadow look. You know what I mean? Like a soft pink eyeshadow look. And anyways, let's just freaking do this eyeshadow, lady. You talk so much, it's crazy. It's okay, we're gonna go into the shade Limit. Am I pointing at the right one? <laughs> and we're gonna go in with a Sigma E25 blending brush. And we're just tapping it in like a normal person would. Just kinda, you know, get it on the side to the top of the brush, you know. Seems simple, but sometimes it helps to know how to put the brush in. So now we're just gonna tap this color down, starting in the outer corner, and you're just tapping it down because our base is wet. I don't know if I specified that, but obviously you just saw me lay down my base and I didn't set it, so you get it. But anyways, the base is wet, so when your base is wet, you just wanna tap down the colors to start. Just lay them down. And I can't remember if I said what brush we're using, but it's in Sigma E25. One of my favorite blending brushes, and and you can use my code. I'll put my discount code in the description below, along with a link, and that way you can shop my favorite Sigma brushes or whatever. Oh my god, okay, my phone is ringing. I guess I gotta pick it up, hold on. Yellow. Hi. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. And I feel like that took longer than anticipated, but you know, what are you gonna do? Okay, let's just get back to it, lady. Let's just get back into it. We were, where were we? We are tapping that limit shade from the, the Naked 3 palette. I don't even know what I've said or not said. Anyways, <laughs> so we're just tapping this into the crease. Okay, I think my dog is pumping pillows. I gotta be right back. Well, I guess the pillow is Gizmo's Valentine. Anyway. We're just tapping this the hell in. And now we're gonna smooth it out a little bit with the Makeup Shack T38 brush, just you know. Now we're gonna go in with a few more swirling motions. Just 
swirl, swirl, swirl. Dun, 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 <laughs> I can tell when I'm stressed out because I like, do this with my hair, whatever. I feel like it's just so much easier to do my makeup when I don't have to talk to you guys. But I also have so much fun just like hanging out and talking to you guys or whatever. You know what I mean? I don't know. Or maybe the truth is that I just like to hear myself talk. Because that sounds like it might be true, to be honest. Okay, we're just blending, blending, blending with the Makeup Shack T38. Okay, I think, you know, that's... Good. Well, let's just build it up for now. I think we need to build it up a little bit more. I did this eye like three hours ago and then I got distracted and I've just been walking around in my life with makeup on one eye and that's it for like five hours. So, you know, don't judge me. My neighbors are fine with it. They're like, oh yeah, that crazy Deborah lady. <laughs> She's back at it again. No, I don't think they even know who I am, to be honest. Although I do have neighbors, my direct next door neighbors are so freaking nice, it's crazy. Like the lady one time saved my whole life because I had to vacuum up a cockroach and now you think I live in a cockroach invested apartment. Invested? Infested, Jesus lady. But anyways, I had to vacuum up a cockroach because the exterminators came and they sprayed my apartment. So the exterminators came and like this dead rat cockroach is just on my floor now like belly up oh I almost puked oh my god I just almost puked just thinking about it so I vacuumed it up right and I was like I have the bagless kind of vacuums where you have to empty the canister and I was like I cannot open this thing I cannot touch it I don't even know how to empty it if I'm being quite frank oh my god I swear I'm a clean person I do vacuum okay I just hadn't gotten around to emptying the vacuum cleaner but anyways moving on oh my god the story's so long lady they came to watch you do your eyeshadow and not talk about a cockroach. Okay, let's take a break and move on to the next color and then I'll finish the cockroach story. So we are going to move into... I can't remember what I did on this side. Okay, I think I used the color Burnout on this eye. So that's what we're going to do on this eye. There it is. And we're going in with a Smith 230 brush. And we're just going back over in that same crease area. So anyways, back to my ever important cockroach story. So there's a dead cockroach and it's now inside my vacuum canister, right? And I'm too scared to freaking empty this thing because I'm a little bitch and I don't. <sighs> so anyways, I'm outside of my apartment trying to figure out how to empty this thing because I certainly didn't want to do it inside my apartment. That'd be even more disgusting than I have dust and cockroach particles floating around. I don't freaking think so, lady. And... <laughs> So anyways, as I'm doing this, I'm like praying to God to send someone my way to please take this terrible, terrible burden away from my life. <laughs> Dramatic much? Yeah, a little bit. And anyways, my neighbor lady comes out and I was like, oh my God, I haven't sent Angel. And I was like, I don't know how to empty this thing. And she was like, oh, okay, I'll help you. And she just started like getting it all together. She like stuck her broom handle up there. Because, like, the canister was so full from me not having emptied it in months that, like, the dust was just, like, stuck in there. <sighs> so, anyways, that's my story about how I really like my next-door neighbors because she saved my life from a dead cockroach who was threatening my life, obviously. Oh, boy, Deborah, that was, <laughs> that was one hell of a story, lady. Okay, and as you can see, we're just putting this color in the crease. Pretty easy peasy. I think I'm gonna go back above that color with Limit again on our E25 and just kind of make sure it's nice and winged. Winged wung. Wung it out. We're wunging it out. This eye has already like oxidized because it's been on so long. So it's like a completely different color, but I'm sure this all eye will catch up and get there eventually. So, so it's all fine and good, shiny boy. It's all fine and good. Sunny boy? What if someone actually called you Sunny boy? I'd actually really like that. Please start calling me Sunny boy from now on. In every comment you leave, please just refer to me simply as Sunny boy. <laughs> Sunny boy, I can't. What? what? My brain, you guys, it's a little crazy, I think. Uh, okay, we're going back into burnout on our Sigma, on our Smith 230. Oh my god, I have a really offensive joke to tell you guys, so let me just tell you. What time does an Asian go? the dentist tooth dirty <laughs> okay I was gonna preface it with the fact that I am Asian because I know a lot of people can't tell but it wouldn't have been as funny if I told you beforehand you know just like shock you real quick and then let you know like it's okay I can tell that joke <laughs> My mom doesn't think it's funny. I also don't think my mom gets that joke though. Like, listen lady, you get it? You're Asian, you go to the dentist at 2.30. <laughs> she one time made my sister a dentist appointment at 2.30 and I was like, 
this is the greatest thing that has ever happened in human history. Okay, that's enough. That's enough, lady. Let's just move this along. Okay, we are going to go in with... Okay, we're gonna go in with the color liar because you a bitch-ass liar. And we're gonna take that in on our Sigma E45 brush. I think liar is an appropriate uh, shade name for Valentine's Day because like whose bitch ass boyfriend hasn't lied to them? Actually, I don't know if mine has. Has he? I'm sure he has. He's not a fucking saint. I don't know. I can't think of any time that he's specifically lied to me in recent history. Can I help you, sir? Gizmo thinks he owns all the furniture in my apartment. I guess I'm just his little bitch. He just sits on dining room chairs. When I'm gone, he stands on the dining room table. I mean, I cannot control him. I came home and he had obviously gone on my dining room table because I had left a chapstick on there, my favorite chapstick, by the way. Oh, sorry, we're just bl blending this in the outer V. I mean, I guess you can tell. I'm apparently full of stories today. I don't know what's freaking into me, but story time, here we come. So anyways, he grabbed my favorite chapstick off the dining room table and had like chewed it to smithereens smithereens okay and it was just like in his bed in his little dog bed like it was his i was pretty pissed okay now we're gonna go in the color factory on a morphe m507 brush gizmo hi baby we see you he likes to like weave himself in and out of the blinds just to make himself known you know i guess i get it i do the same thing i just you know use my mouth and flap my gums to make myself known <laughs> okay I'm sorry, I'm not really telling you the steps, but like you have eyes, hopefully. Oh my God, if you're blind, I'm really sorry. I'm offensive. But we are, we are just putting that in the crease here. We're putting that in the grease here. I don't know, I feel like this makeup look is pretty simple. So like, hopefully it doesn't take a lot of instruction. It obviously doesn't take too much concentration because I'm flapping my gums at like a thousand miles an hour. Can't even keep track of all the random shit that's flying out of here. Okay. And we're gonna go back in with our Sigma E25 with no more product on it. And we're just, you know, blending it out a little bit. Okay, well, just kidding. We're gonna go in a limit a little bit more. <laughs> and then blend it out a little bit. Some swirly motions and then some windshield wiper motions. And then swirl, 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 windshield, windshield, swirl, swirl, swirl. Now we're gonna go in with our clean Makeup Shock T38 brush and just, you know, swirl it around. Swirl it around town. Okay, there's a lot of noise out on my balcony and I don't know what it's coming from, but I think there might be a ghost out there and it like sounds like a door slamming, 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 but like there's no door to slam, so like, I'm confused and I'm also concerned. I used to hear it out there and think like someone was breaking in, but I don't know how they'd break into my balcony because I like live on like the fourth floor. So like maybe you have a grappling hook or something and you just like, you're a rock climber. But other than that, I don't know how you'd get up here. So anyways, that's my story about how I'm insane and think people are breaking into my apartment. Let's just move right along here. We're gonna go into the color Dark Heart. We're gonna go in with this unnamed MAC brush. I kind of think it says 210, but I've literally had this brush for a thousand years, since before Christ maybe even. So the numbers have worn off and I don't know, I'll just show it to you. It's like a pencil brush kind of. If I can figure out what it is, I will certainly, most certainly link it below. You think I won't link it below? Cause I will. So anyways, we just dipped it in like this, you know, like straight. Oh, am I even gonna go on camera? I just like poked it in, beep, beep, beep. You don't want the product on the side of the brush. So you don't want to go in like this. You want to go in like straight. You feel me? I'm giving instructions. I'm like being so helpful today, it's crazy. I don't know where my dog is. So anyways, we're just gonna put that right in the crease. Just keep that color kind of low and like darken up that V. You know what I'm saying? We're just gonna do like a V shape. Try to keep it low because you don't want these dark colors to get up high and looking real crazy, okay? You're gonna look like someone punched you in the dang face. I mean, if that's the look you're going for, you do you, boo-boo. But maybe not on Valentine's Day. I mean, unless you're trying to set your boyfriend up for some type of domestic violence claim. I don't know. I don't know what you're up to. I'm not suggesting you do anything. I'm just saying. I don't know what I'm talking about at this point. Let's just move right along. Okay, now we're gonna blend that out a little bit more with the Sigma E45 brush that we just used before this. And we're not putting more product on it. We're just you know, blending it on a little more so it's a nice and soft gradient. Nice and soft. Oops, sounds like Gizmo's eating his lunchies. 
I guess it's dinner at this point. I might have to give him more food. But he like is a weirdo who used to eat his food as soon as I put it out and now he just kind of picks at it. Like maybe he's intermittent fasting. You know, he doesn't want to eat too much in the morning because you got to get that body tight. You got to get that body right. And intermittent fasting is working for him, you know? He's a very svelte little doggo. I think Gizmo wanted to bring his food in here so he could chew it next to my camera and like really mess with my audio. We're going back in with the Sigma E25 in the shade Limit. The limit does not exist. The limit does not exist. And we're just dusting that up onto the brow bone yet again because this color is nice and light and you really just can't get enough of it up there. Oh my God, I was ready to move on to eyeliner. I haven't even put a crease color on. Lady, get it together. Okay, for our crease color, we are going to go in with a shade. Oh, I almost thought, I thought it was bust. It's called dust in this one. And we're going in with our MAC 242 brush. We're gonna give it a little spritzy spritz with our e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. This stuff is like two doll hairs, so like a lot of people use their MAC Prep and Prime. I can't remember what it is. It's in the other room, so I don't wanna go get it. Those people, those people, you people, spray that their brushes with that, and I'm like, this stuff is $20. I will use that for something I actually care about and not my brushes, because really you can use whatever on your brush. You just need it to get it wet. So anyways, that was a really long speech to say like you don't need to spray your brushes with expensive shiznit unless you just got like money to kill. And then if you do, like you can Venmo me. Okay, we're just laying this down in the inner corner. Deborah, no one is going to Venmo you, so shut the hell up. <laughs> I'll put my Venmo in the description below. <sighs> Okay, we're just, you know, we're not cutting the crease today because we're lazy. This is a simple date night look. And like, if you're anything like me, you get ready for your dates at the last damn minute and then your boyfriend is sitting there like, let's just go, you don't even need makeup, you look fine. So anyways, we don't listen to men and we're gonna take our damn time doing our makeup, but we're also gonna go a little bit fast because we're not complete rude assholes. So we're doing a simple makeup look for date night, okay? Simple, nice and... Okay, we got that color laid down. Oh, I think I skipped a step. Did I go in with the color factory? I think I did. Did I? We're gonna go in with the color factory and the M507 just in case, because I can't remember. And we're gonna go in the crease. I don't know, did I do this? L listen, people, I don't know. I got distracted by my own gums flapping, okay? I can't remember what I did or did not do. All I know is that I did this on the other side, and so we gotta do it on this side, just to be sure. Now we're gonna go back in with our Sigma E45 and blend that out a little bit more. Sorry about all the dinging. My dog, is his collar is hitting his food bowl again and again and again. So if you're wondering why it sounds like the Salvation Army is ringing their bells for donations, that would be why. Okay, is this good? Maybe just a little bit more of the color limit does not exist on our Sigma E25. Just blending it in, you know, like really gentle. We're like artists, so we're like really gentle and stuff. Okay, I feel like that's good enough. Let's do our eyeliner, shall we? So I really like the Kat Von D tattoo liner for creating the shape. Now I will say uh, this and all other like pen type liners tend to dry out very fast. So they frustrate me on many levels, but they also draw a good wing. So I'm just gonna draw the wing outline to start. And then we're gonna fill it in with another thing that is always trusty and dusty to me. So we're just gonna draw the outside of the wing with this pen. And store your pen upside down like this, or not upside down, like just with the tip facing down so that the ink is always running down into the tip. And that will somewhat help. I gotta stop talking. That'll somewhat help it to not dry out. Sorry, I can't talk and drawing at the same time. Uh... Okay, now that we have the wing shape all there, we are going to fill it in with my trusty and dusty L'Oreal Linear Intense yada yada yada. Eyeliner. This thing I freaking love. I mean, I've been using it for years and like 
I just love an inkwell, you know what I mean? I have the Kat Von D inkwell too, and it's very permanent. Like, you can go swimming, you can rub your whole head in a bucket of, bucket of ducks. I don't know why that's what came to mind. You can you know, rub your whole head in a bucket of ducks and that eyeliner won't move. So sometimes it's just like a little too intense. Like, I don't need my eyeliner to be on for a thousand years tonight. You know what I mean? Okay, I've got to stop talking when I'm doing my eyeliner because I almost mess it up. And yet here I am, still flapping my gums. They just don't stop. You know, a lot of my report cards said Deborah talks too much and I mean, things have not changed. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna darken up this crease just a touch more with that unknown MAC brush in the color Dark Heart. Tap off the excess so you don't get too much. Just a smidge. We don't want it too dark, but I feel like this eye is darker. Okay, now I feel like this eye's darker. Okay, just put the freaking utensils down, lady. Pencils down, students. Your final scores will be revealed soon. Ah! Who am I? If you can name in the comments who that was an impression of, you will win my love. I can't, I, I'm sorry, I can't give you a real prize. I just don't have the funds to give you a real prize right now. But anyways, leave a comment below with who that was an impression of and you will win a thousand claps i'll just sit here and clap all day <laughs> okay but anyways i'll reveal who it was later for people who care i guess in five minutes i'll tell you who that was i don't know why i'm waiting five minutes i'll just randomly burst out with who that was anyways let's clean up this fallout shall we so we got some of our random generic store brand q-tips that suck but i gotta use them up you know what i mean i already bought them so we're just on this mission to use up every last one of these crappy q-tips and our cvs brand makeup remover and we're just going in with our very expensive lifestyles <laughs> and cleaning up this makeup okay <clears throat> What, did I just pick my nose? No, gross. Okay, let's just move right along here, people. We are taking way too long. We're moving on to face. And we're going to prime with the Cover FX Blurring Primer. And we're just gonna try to remove the pores that are so gigantic and taking up all of our nose space. Okay, so we're covering up the big pores that we have on the sides of our face and under our nose and on our nose. And then the rest of my pores are pretty average to decent. Well, my chin is kind of big, so let's just get some of those boogans out of here. Okay, and now I'm too lazy to gut up and get water, so I'm just gonna spray my brush with this e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set because it's cheap, so who cares? Oh, you rich rich, huh? No, I'm not. That's why I'm using my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set and not some fancy schmancy stuff. I just suddenly got really hungry. Like maybe I'll just skip filming this and just go eat. JK, we already made it this far. Let's just chug right along. Okay, we are using our Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in shade 128. And our spongy, spongy, spongy. <clears throat> we're just dabbing. <laughs> I don't even know how to dab. That was me trying to dab. We're just dabbing slash pouncing this all over our face. Don't forget to get the neck and the ears as well because the ears tend to be kind of red or mine do at least oh my god i haven't tanned in like a long time and yet i refuse to get the foundation shade that actually matches my skin so you know it's fine i'll just wear a high neck shirt so people can't tell that my foundation doesn't match my body <laughs> see what i mean that's freaky i hate it i freaking hate it not only do i have cockroaches but i have ghosts okay just kidding i don't have cockroaches people i don't live in a filthy infested home there was just one okay i think we finally got our face covered enough that we can pretend it matches does it match mm, whatever we're gonna i'll buy my correct foundation shade and or finally get around to self tanning just don't come for me, okay? I'm sure we've all been there. I can't possibly be the only lazy person alive. Yeah, possibly. Anyways, we're gonna go on to our concealer, our Makeup Revolution Concealer in C7. We're just gonna take this down the bridge of the nosy nose, up the forehead, and on the chin, and under the nose, because we get red, and it's not cute. And that's a little too much concealer, okay, lady? You got a little too aggressive there, but you know, it's fine. We'll just pretend it's foundation and spread it all over our face, it's fine. And I'm using the little beauty blender around the nose because I just think it fits in there a little bit better. And I like to use it on my forehead too. 
Okay, and we're just blending it down our nose as well. Obviously. Okay, and now we're gonna do the under eyes. I do these separate because this concealer dries down pretty fast. I put way too much concealer on. Whoa, lady, whoa. So anyways, I like to just do one eye at a time. Okay, and I like to use the edge of this sponge to kind of line up under that eyeliner. Kind of create a real nice clean line. Just a little bit more for good measure, even though I already stated we put too much on. I don't know what's wrong with me sometimes, you know, whatever. Okay, moving on to the other eye. We're gonna have to blend that back out anyways. We're gonna try to put a little less on this eye. And we're also gonna try not to get our hair in it. And we are going to set that with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. We're gonna go in with this shade and this shade, these two lightest ones. We're going to just mix them. We're gonna take that in on our e.l.f. small tapered brush. I'm just gonna dab in here and then dab in here and then tap off the excess. And then right before you set your concealer, I go in one more time just to make sure there are no little creases. Once you go in with your powders, those creases are gonna be set and they're going to stay there for the whole rest of your life. That's how it works. And then set them. Shut it out. And we're also going to use those shades in the Kat Von D Light Palette, Light Palette Shade and Light Palette to set our T-zone. And to set the rest of the face, we are gonna go in with the RCMA No Color Powder and this giant brush. And we're just slapping powder all over the place just to make sure that we look like a ghost and to, you know, set the powder. Oh, I almost forgot to highlight my brow bone. I was just looking at my other brow bone and I highlighted this one and I didn't highlight this one. I was like, oh, that other one is real shiny. Whoops. So we'll do that in just a second here. A real quick break, intermission. And we're gonna go in with the color Strange because I'm strange. And we're gonna take that in on any old brush we see laying around. Why not a Morphe M205 brush? We're just gonna pop it in there. Ugh. I still want my tongue, ew. Okay, just dust that on the brow bone. Here we go, brow bone's highlighted. Okay, moving right along then. I think we were still setting the face. Oh God, my brain just jumps around from thing to thing. Like wah, wah, wah. And we're gonna bake as well. We are just going to use our same Morphe sponge that we were, that we were using before. And we're gonna bake under our eyes and on our nose. We're just pressing powder into the skin. And onto the nose, cause I get really oily here. Why don't we do the chin too, since we're here. Try to not to breathe in the powders too much. You don't wanna get clown long. And while those powders sit, let's touch up our brows a little bit with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Soft Brown. Focus, hello. I don't know if we focused or not, but we're moving right along. Okay, and we're just gonna comb through these things to soften up the intense lines we just drew. Oh, the answer to who I was impersonating before was Mrs. Fall from Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> no, Carl, Jimmy! I'm normal, I'm super, super normal. I'm just gonna set those brows with a little bit of translucent powder. And now while we have this brush, we're just gonna dust off our bakey bake. And let's just move right along here. We're gonna go into our MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Golden. And we're gonna take that in on our Morphe E2 just to bring some life back into our skin because translucent powder really makes you look like a ghost. Okay, okay. Now we're gonna contour these cheekity cheeks. And we're gonna go in with, we're gonna go back into that shade light palette, this bottom middle shade. We're going in with the Japonesque contour and blush or highlighter brush, I don't know, I'll link it below. Swipe it in the palette like this, as opposed to straight on. You want the color on the side of the brush. And then tap off that excess, and then sweep it onto the shiki shiks. And this brush has really helped me stop having such like a heavy handed contour. Man, I have had some over contour days in my life, boy. But it's okay, we'll just burn those pictures and pretend they didn't happen. No one has to know. Okay, I think we're contoured enough. Contoured to the gods. Let's just move right along to contour in our nose, shall we? We're going to take my favorite nose contouring brush, the Sigma E38 brush. Before I was using a much thinner brush and I just could not figure out why my contour looked so crazy. Anyways, so I'm going in that middle shade again and I tap it into the contour on the side of the brush like this. You can kind of see where the powder is there. And then tap off the excess and hold your brush like so and just bring it 
right down the side of their nosy nose, the little nose, or in my case, the big nose. Kind of bring it up into the brow as well, in the shape of a nose. And right down on the tip, boop, 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 boop. We're just trying to make our nose look small and cute or whatever. Now let's bake our nose while we're here. And we're gonna bake with the Morphe E47 brush. And we're just gonna pick some of that translucent powder up and just stamp it down the sides of the nose. Down the sides of the nose, down the center of the nose, lady. And then the sides. Sometimes I just say things. I don't even know what is coming out of my mouth half the time. Okay. And now while that's happening, let's go in with some blushy blush. And we're going in with one of my current favorites, the Laura Geller blush in Tropic Hues. We're going in with my thousand year old Sephora blush brush and just swirling it in and tapping off the excess as per usual and just sweep it onto the apples of the cheeks and kind of bring it back to blend it in. Probably could have used kind of a purpley blush shade for this look, huh? The look is kind of turning out more purple than I originally thought, but we're here for it because purple is like my favorite color to wear on my eyes. Cause I think purple and brown eyes goes pretty well. Beep, boop, beep. Okay, let's let's bake under these under our contour. That way, any slopopotamus job that we did will just be magically cleaned up. Taking our Morphe contour, I don't know what it's called. Our Morphe sponge, and we're taking this nice sharp edge and just dipping it into our powder. And voila! I'm fancy. I speak French. <laughs> voila! Oh my god, I've never met anyone fancier than Deborah. She speaks French. Oh my god, wow, this is just crazy. So we're gonna let that sit, and while we sit and look like a crazy person, a crazy person, and do more offensive accents, we're gonna finish up our under eyes. And we're gonna go in with, wait, do I wanna do the under eyes first? Let's, let's do the part of our eyes that makes it water first. Yo, this is how addicted I am to my phone, that my phone isn't even on my table, and I thought it was lighting up. It was just the light catching the palette. That's not embarrassing. Oh my god, someone wants to talk to me? Who? Who could want to talk to me? Yo, I just realized we didn't contour our forehead. Oh my god, okay. Whoa, lady. We just be walking around with a blank forehead? I don't think so. What am I, like a madman or something? Jesus, lady, get it together. We're going in with our butter bronzer and our Morphe E2. And we're gonna make this contour, we're gonna make this contour, we're gonna make this forehead contoured so that it doesn't look like a freaking white bunch of hullabaloo. What was I thinking? What was I gonna do? Just walk around with my forehead looking all kinds of large and in charge? Lady, get it together. But seriously, my forehead is way too big not to contour. I mean, come on. And aside from that, it would just look pretty crazy to have my whole face contoured and not my forehead. Like, I can't even imagine. We're gonna further contour this thing with the butter bronzer in deep, cause I like to go overboard. I sure do. Okay, I feel like I just, what am I doing to my brush? Can you see that? Uh, I'm abusing this brush like no other. Gonna take a clean brush and try to blend that out because I think I went a little too overboard. I was just a little too aggressive because I was so concerned with the fact that I was gonna skip contouring my forehead. Okay, where were we? Oh yes, time to stab our eyes out with our Marc Jacobs Fine Liner in blacker. We're tight lining our upper lash line so that there's no gaps. This part is essential because otherwise it just like, you can see a, like the skin poking underneath. It just makes your lash line look thicker, so. God, this one's ringing again. Watch out! Walking home from the gym. Ah. So I wanted to talk to someone on the phone so it's dark out. Ah, smart. But you never want to be using your phone when you're walking alone in the dark because yeah. then the murderers come. The sex traffickers, right. in fact. Here's a story. Matt tried to make me walk across the street to Chick-fil-A last night through all the meth heads hanging out in Marina Del Rey because he didn't want ice cream because he didn't want to get fat. Meanwhile, I hadn't eaten barely anything all day, so like I'm good with getting fat. I'm starving. And I was like, you're okay with me getting stolen by a meth head and sold into sex trafficking? So anyways, I didn't get ice cream last night is the end of that story. Wow. I know, egregious. I don't want ice cream, but there's ice cream. You did this to me! That's a whole lot of wind there, lady. Yep. You know, wind tunnel? Yep. Wow. Wow. I'm outside too. Five hours later. 
Okay, so my sister called me and I got really distracted and then I had a bowl of cereal and watched Shane's conspiracy video for like the 10th time. And I don't know why everyone's calling me all of a sudden today. It's like no one ever calls me ever and all suddenly when I'm filming, everybody I know calls. So anyways, let's just finish up these under eyes, shall we? We're gonna go into our under eyes and go on... Let's go on a Morphe E18 brush and we're gonna dip into that color limit. You wanna kinda dip the brush in directly like that. Don't wipe it side to side. Go in directly, straight. And we're just going to dust that gently under the eyes. And you can smoke this color out fairly low. And then what next? Let's go in on a Morphe E36 brush and take that into the color Liar. We're actually gonna go into the color factory because this color isn't dark enough. And that Morphe E36. Wow, it's really watering. Amazing. So now, while we try not to let our eyes water and ruin our whole makeup, we are going to go in with a Morphe M326 and go into that dark heart shade. Take this on the brush like so. And then just keep that shade really close to the lash line and keep that more towards the outer corner of the eye. Now we're gonna repeat that same stuff on the other eye. I'm just gonna I'll zip right through this cause you don't need to see that again. Okay, now we're just going to darken up our lashes with mascara so they blend in with our falsies when we pop them on. And we're going in with our Double Decker Butter London. Doo -doo -doo. And we're just darkening these things up, making them look like they exist cause I have like no eyelashes, so. And while that dries, let's just put some gel on our eyebrows. And I'm using the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer Brow Gel. Will ever focus? Hello? There we go. And I just really like the brush on this. It's like a weird spoon scoopy brush. And it just, for some reason, I apply my brow gel much more neatly with this brush. You know, Shan, you feel me. Otherwise, I just get brow gel everywhere. And I don't know what's wrong with me, but something is clearly amiss. Dookie, dookie, artichoke. Okay, what now? Oh, let's do our inner corner. Oh my god, I almost forgot my inner corner. Okay, let's just take this strange shade in with a Sigma E30 pencil brush. You want to pop that brush in there like this. Just stab, stab, stab. Oh my god, we forgot to put highlighter on. Let's get some highlighter on these cheeky cheeks, shall we? We're going to go in with our Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. And we're gonna go in with our Morphe M501 brush. Yas, queen. Look at that glow. Hell yeah. And just bring it a little bit into a V here. We beaming, boo. Ooh. Ooh, boy, that looks wet. Wet. Glowing for the gods. Let's see, I was gonna do lips. I was thinking like a red. Do you guys think red goes with this look or am I just being too extra just cause I really like Valentine's Day? Correction, I don't like Valentine's Day. I like the colors of Valentine's Day. Just wanna clarify that. I think Valentine's Day is a shit holiday. Even if you have someone, I just think it is a rotten day that makes people who maybe already feel alone cause they're single, it makes them feel even more alone. How freaking terrible. But here we are doing a Valentine's look because I like pink. And I like red. Should we do red? Let's test it out. I think it's kind of a vibe. Like I would normally not pair this eye with a red lip, but it's Cupid's birthday, so let's just go for it. Let's line our little lippy lips with this. There's no label on it. It's a Maybelline red lip liner. It's like a thousand years old, so I'll link it below if they still make it. So we're gonna overline our lips because we are extra. You wanna make sure you overline only in the center. So overline the center, like the center of your lips and not the corners of your lips. So if you overline the corners, that's when you start looking like a clown. Okay, I think that's a pretty even line. And now we're gonna go in with this lovely I Love Sara E X Color Pop Ultra Metallic Lip in Coquette. Ooh, I love this color so much. And if you have a boo thing and you're gonna kiss them and you want a liquid lipstick that's going to dry down matte so it won't get all over them. And this is just a really nice formula. It doesn't dry down so matte that your lips feel like cement. It just dries down matte enough. And it's not really matte, I guess, since it's a metallic shade, but it dries down so that it doesn't transfer so much. Plus, it's just a beautiful color, like, bam! Okay, I think this color went well, actually. Cause it's not like red red, it's like a deep purpley red. Oh, God, I like it. I'm glad we went with this. Thank you for helping me to decide. And for those of you who doubted me, go f yourself. I'm just kidding. Okay, we looking like Cupid's birthday all up in here. 
Okay, let's finish our face, Deborah. We're not done yet. For lashes, I'm gonna use the Lily Lashes in Miami. These are like my favorite lashes of all time, but I rarely wear them because they are expensive, okay? So I only wear them on like special occasions. And Cupid's birthday is a special occasion. Duh, it's Cupid's birthday. So let's just pop these dang things on, shall we? And we are going to use, we're just gonna stick with the white glue for now because the, my black glue, quite frankly, is in the other room. <laughs> and I just don't wanna go get it. Okay, enough, enough, lady. Let's just put some glue on these lashes and get to stepping. Oh, and we're using the House of Lashes glue. Okay, and we're just gonna drop it in from the top. I like to set it down from the middle first and then secure the corners. Now we're just moving right along to the other eye. Wow, that eyelash though. I mean, hello. Okay, I'm gonna stop getting distracted by the beauty of this eyelash and just move on to the next one. Do we like this lipstick with this eye look? I think we do. It's Cupid's dang birthday, okay? We doing it all. And obviously, if you don't feel like wearing a red lipstick, don't wear red lipstick. Just dropping this down. And then once the glue dries down, it'll be clear and you won't have all these little goopy looking things. Let's just wipe off our bake here while we wait for this eyelash glue to dry. Okay, and our makeup is actually all done. So I'm just gonna go do my hair and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And this is the finished look. Happy Valentine's Day and or Cupid's birthday. I hope you get hit by Cupid Sparrow. I'm in love. I was hit by Cupid Sparrow. Well, uh, I know. So anyways, I think this was a pretty easy date night makeup look. I mean, I didn't even mess up this time, did I? That's how easy it is. And also these lashes are so beautiful, they could cover any mistakes. I mean, you could take a dump on my head and these lashes would be like, ha! But please don't take a dump on my head. I am not into that. So anyways, I hope you like this makeup look. If you guys recreate it, I hope you also tag me on Instagram. I will leave all of my social media garbage down below in the description. And if you like this video, I hope you check out some of my other videos. And I hope you like and subscribe, this, that, and the other, yada, yada, yada. But seriously, liking this video really helps me. Leaving a comment really helps me. Obviously subscribing really helps me, obviously. I don't know if any of that needed to be said, but does anything really need to be said? It's more about the music of a conversation. Well, not everything a guy says needs to be said. Sometimes it's just about the music of a conversation. So anyways, I think I've babbled on long enough here. I don't know. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Whew. Okay, it passed. Anyways, I don't know that I have anything else to say except smell you later. Bye. <laughs> Who has time to be literate? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Using our ring fingers. I almost flicked you guys off. Ha ha. Woo. Warp speed. Here we come. I'm scared, mommy. I'm just talking. Oh, yada, 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 yada. <laughs> my nose itches. I wasn't picking my nose. I swear. How rude. How hypothetically rude. As dark as my heart. It's Cupid's dang birthday, okay? Happy birthday, Cupid. Hi, I'm Date Mike. Nice to meet me. <sighs> Do you like this makeup look or not? Hello, Clarice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. Uh.